everyone, um, this is Kirisu, and tonight we're going to be doing some Q&A. Um, unfortunately, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather tonight, so um, the stream might not go on very long, um, but we'll kind of just see how things go. Um, so yeah, you guys are welcome to ask whatever you'd like in chat, and I'll answer as I can. Also, welcome to chat, uh, Timmy, how are you? My day's been okay so far. Um, Aside from, you know, being a little bit sick, but I'll get over it. <laughs> hey, welcome to chat, Sniper and Julius. How are you guys tonight? Alright, thanks. Okay, so it looks like the chat box might be working. So that's good. Welcome to chat, Briscus. How are you? Also, kind of looking at it, I think I like the format for the other one better, so I'm going to go ahead and switch that one back on. There we go. Yeah. Snow this time of year is one of those things that's sort of hit or miss. You never really know whether you're going to have snow or not. Like, especially with the way the weather has been the last couple of years. Like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope I'm feeling better too. Thank you. Yeah, um, I tried to get the chat box set up, um through the program that I used to stream so that I didn't have to like manually sort of put it in there um, with another window, but I think it looks better this way, so I'll probably just keep doing it this way. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're doing okay, Friskus. Being tired can be a little rough, but you know. It doesn't sound too bad otherwise, right? It sucks, Sniper. Um, I hope you got her back, though. <laughs> I always need tea, Julius. Do you guys have any questions today? I'm glad to hear you got her. Um, I would say my favorite kind of tea is probably either black or chai tea. Um, a lot of people are really into like green tea, but I I hate green tea. It's awful. Like, I'm just really not a fan of it. Um, but yeah, mostly either black or chai tea. Um, peppermint tea is also pretty good sometimes. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I don't know. Like, I've just always really liked tea. Because, like, it's more subtle than coffee. Um, even though, like, tea and coffee in some ways are kind of the same concept because they're both warm drinks that are, like, I don't know. Like, they both have sort of, like, that little bit of a bitter taste to them, but coffee is just too over the top, and I think it's disgusting. Yeah, I understand that, Timmy. I don't think I've ever had lemon drop tea. Sounds interesting. I don't know if I would like it or not. Um, I enjoy playing platformers is a general statement. Um, I would say some of the other games that I like are Spyro the Dragon, um, let's see, Rayman is another one that I've played. Um, I'm trying to see if there is a port of um, Sly Cooper for PC. If not, I might try to find it on it, like an emulator or something, because I'd kind of like to stream that. Um, but then outside of that, I also enjoy like Portal, Half-Life, um, Fallout. Um, there's a handful of MMOs that I've played, but I have a really hard time finding an MMO that I'm really into. Just because it seems like whenever I find something that I enjoy the playstyle or like I really enjoy the lore, the community sucks. Or like if the community is great, I go and I play and I'm like, I, I really hate this playstyle. So then like I end up losing interest. Um, Julius, lemon and honey is a good combination. Like, I don't know, I really like honey even just by itself. Like, that's probably one of my favorites. Um, and yeah, definitely if I can find a way to streams like Cooper, I will probably plan on doing that in the future as well. Yeah, based on what I've heard about League of Legends, it seems really toxic, so I'm kind of glad I don't play, but it also doesn't really seem like a game that I would enjoy the playstyle, um, just because it seems really repetitive, which is actually kind of <laughs> funny because 
I enjoy games where I can, like, grind and, like, level up that way. So it surprises me that League of Legends doesn't really fit what I would want to play. Yeah, I've had those before, Julius. They're interesting. I think I tried an orange and strawberry flavor. No, you're fine to me, it happens. What else do you guys want to know? I'm happy to answer just about anything within reason. <laughs> I really appreciate that. You're awesome, Timmy. Um, and also, for anybody who is interested, one second. Um, for anyone who is interested, I do plan on selling stickers of my emotes in the near future. So if you would like to check it out. Just typing in the URL real quick. Um, you can check out my website here. Um, and currently the stickers will show that they are out of stock. Um, but I've broken it down into two different sets. Um, just because of how the website is set up. Um, because, like, I didn't write all of the code for the website, so I'm not really able to, like, put as many items in their shop format as I wanted. So I ended up having to split all of them to be able to show all of the pictures individually. Um, and no, Julius, I have not tried the blueberry flavor, but that doesn't sound bad. Yeah, I might have to try that. Um, I do plan on making more emotes eventually. Um, as of currently, we have all of the emotes unlocked that I'm able to include. So, um... I'll probably wait until I unlock more slots to include more emotes, but I do plan on making more gradually. Um, I'm not sure, like, typically when I've had those, um, it was from, like, a farmer's market, so I'm pretty sure they were made locally. Yeah, I look forward to it, Timmy. Um, and I'll probably post on social media and let people know when we have some more emotes available, so that's something to look forward to, I guess. 
Uh, welcome back, Sniper. Uh, you didn't really miss much. Uh, I actually usually just drink my tea by itself. Um, but like, I don't know, like I'll have it as a drink with anything really. So like, um, anything from cake to cookies to ramen, like, I, I just eat whatever together, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, like most of the time, uh, the stuff like that is basically directly from the apiary to wherever it's being purchased from, so it's not too different, I don't think. And welcome to chat, Quinn. How are you? I've never had wheat cookies, but if it's anything like the comparison between, like, the white bread and wheat bread, I don't know if I would like them or not. Yeah, to me, I get that. Um, I'm not really much of a fan of jerky personally, but like I said, I'll eat whatever with tea. Just because, like, when I eat and drink things, it's just because, like, I'm consuming them for the flavor, first and foremost. So, I don't know. Just whatever I'm in the mood for, I guess. And Sniper, I've never had um, sweet tea at a Mexican restaurant, but I might have to try that out. Um, I have no idea, unfortunately. Um, but another thing that I like to try um, or like to add to my tea that a lot of people maybe don't is um, vanilla extract. Like just a little bit, um, not a ton. But that sort of adds just sort of an extra layer of flavor to it without being, like, over the top, I guess. Like, it's really subtle as long as you don't put too much in it. Thanks for stopping by, Quinn. Have a good night. Oh, I, I figured the texture would be like a cookie. I just mean like comparison wise, like, cause wheat bread has like a different flavor than white bread, I guess is sort of where I was coming from. Like I've never had wheat cookies. They just don't sound good to me. Yes, Timmy, I do enjoy cornbread. Um, I would say that is probably, like, one of my favorite sort of side dishes. Like, it depends on what mood I'm in, but I'm always down for cornbread. <laughs> uh, my only complaint is when people put actual corn in the cornbread and make it, like, some sort of attempted cornbread corn casserole sort of monstrosity like I'm totally not for that like if somebody's going to make cornbread it just needs to be cornbread and that's it <laughs> cuz like the worst thing is biting into a piece of cornbread and finding like 
actual bits of corn in it because it really ruins the texture. But yeah, that's just my two cents on that. Yeah, Sniper, I don't really like wheat bread either. Hmm, that's interesting, Julius. I've never even heard of wheat cookies, so I don't know if, like, they're readily available, but I might try them. Yeah, like, I don't know why, but on occasion, like, in the Midwest, sometimes people will put actual corn in the cornbread, and it is disgusting. Like, I don't recommend it at all for any reason. Like, don't even do it to try it. It's gross. I've never heard of Pizza Burger. Is that, like, a restaurant, or is that, like, a type of burger sniper? I'm not sure. Definitely cornmeal and not corn kernels. Like, anybody who's adding corn kernels to cornbread is ruining it, whether they want to accept it or not. No, I'm not really a fan of peppers, so I don't think I would like that. And like, it's not a spicy thing that bothers me, it's definitely the flavor, like I'm just not a fan of peppers. Which is weird, cause like, I like black pepper and like, ground um, chipotle pepper powder, but I don't like actual like, fresh or cooked peppers and anything, like, I don't know, just not a fan, I guess. Uh, that's interesting, Sniper. I don't know if I would like that or not. I don't like to combine too many flavors together. I've never seen that, Timmy. Like, what's the purpose? Because, like, if you're filling the banana with something, and then, like, turning it back into a normal banana, like, what was the point in even filling it with whatever was in it to begin with? Like, it just seems like a waste of effort. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of peanut butter. Er, I'm a fan of peanut butter. I'm not a fan of peanut butter on bananas. Like, I don't know. That doesn't sound like a good combination. Then again, I don't really like bananas, so I might be a little bit biased there. know about peanut butter and honey. It's like, I like honey and I like peanut butter, but I don't know about putting them together.
Um, yeah, floats are pretty common. Um, I enjoy root beer floats. They're pretty great. Um, actually, if I have root beer and ice cream, I might make that after the stream is over. That sounds kind of good. root beer float the topic of floats came up again so definitely root beer floats the downside is I think I have ice cream but I don't think I have root beer oh no I'm sorry Timmy Oh, um, what else do you guys want to know tonight? Like, just regular peanuts? That doesn't sound like a good combination with Coca-Cola. Then again, I'm not really a fan of Coke either. Like... I don't know. I'm not really a fan. I don't know. That just doesn't sound very good. I think I'll take your word for it. That doesn't sound like something I want to try. <laughs> yeah. I guess that makes sense. Um, to answer your question, Timmy, I would say I generally like warm weather, um, but I kind of prefer sort of an overcast sky, um, just because I'm not actually a fan of direct sunlight because I burn really easily, um, and, like, my eyes are kind of sensitive to the sunlight just because it's too bright for me, um, but... I would say, like, warm and overcast, um, but I also enjoy thunderstorms, I just don't like being, like, out in them, um, because I don't really like getting rained on, but I do enjoy being outside, like, if there's sort of, like, an overhang or anything to stand under. Sniper, no, I've never 
had that. I'm not sure what it is exactly. know what you're talking about, Julius. <laughs> you're silly. know you oh my gosh I don't I don't know if I could imagine that I mean I could but the aesthetics don't really fit together Oh, okay. Um, so kind of like a snow cone sniper. I'm not sure I follow Timmy. Wasn't that like a TV show or something? Yeah. The snow phones are alright. I'd say I probably prefer the blue raspberry or the, uh, the grape flavors. But I can't imagine pickle. That doesn't sound good. Um, no judgment here, Julius. You're fine. Oh my gosh, Timmy. <laughs> so, are you guys up to anything exciting tonight? Hey, welcome to chat, Lion. How are you? Yeah, you totally should, Timmy. That sounds like fun. And by the way, Timmy, um, if you want to send me your YouTube link in a whisper, I can link it here in chat. Um, but I have all the links blocked so you won't be able to share it. Are you looking for any particular genres, Julius? And yeah, I get that, Lion. Uh, stream's been alright so far. Um, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today, but 
I mean, so far everything's running pretty smooth, I think. Um, I feel bad because I wasn't really up to doing art or games on stream, so I opted for Q&A instead, but you guys have all been awesome so far, so I appreciate that. Yeah, I get that, Timmy. Um, but yeah, if you want to share that link later, like, like at a later date, I'd be happy to share it. Um, just because I like to do what I can to support everybody. <laughs> I appreciate that, Lion. And yeah, ramen is best, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll make ramen after the stream or not, though. Like, I might just go back to sleep. <laughs> we'll see how things go. Thanks, Timmy. I appreciate that. And why are you nervous, Sniper? not heard of Mark of the Ninja. Um, I might check it out though. It'll just depend on whether or not I can get it on Steam because that's usually the limiting factor. Uh, like, I will occasionally play with an emulator but I try to avoid that just because like I don't want to run into any copyright issues. I'm sorry to hear that, Lion, but at least if you're staying up, you can get it done. Yeah, the best thing to do with tests, um, Sniper, is just make sure that you read all the questions at least twice. Just because sometimes the first time you read it, you might miss over words. Um, just make sure that you're reading everything to know for sure what's being asked. Because that always makes it easier to give the right answer. But as long as you're doing that, you should be fine. It's not bad. I might have to check it out, Timmy. Yeah, man. I hate when people are impatient like that. Sniper, I can't really give much advice for Spanish. Um, because that's never really something I learned too much about. But with math, as long as you, like, Pay attention and try your best to memorize, like, the different formulas and stuff that you need, like, and, like, how all of that fits together. You should be fine. Yeah, 
I might have to look into that, Timmy. Um, and thankfully, Lion, no, I haven't really ever run into anybody who is, like, super impatient. Um, like, for the most part, I don't really have any complaints about any of the clients that I've had, so I'm really thankful for that. Yeah, I I get that, Julius. I I don't speak Spanish either. Like that there is probably the extent of what I can understand, unfortunately. I would say, like, I'm probably the most impatient when it comes to things like that. Because, like, when I'm working on art for myself, I just want it to be done. So, like, I don't know. I would say when it comes to me making artwork, I'm in more of a, like, I'm more impatient to try to get my own stuff done than, like, the others like not to sound selfish or anything just because like I don't usually make art for myself so I usually try to hurry and get through it I guess but like especially when I was making the emotes um I was kind of just like you know I want all these to be done so that I can share them um but it didn't take too long to get everything together Yeah, it does definitely suck when people are impatient, though. That's crazy that your family speaks Spanish and they never taught you. Because, like, if it's something that they know how to speak, like, I don't know. I I'm not really judging, like... It just surprises me, I guess. Oh, what else are you guys up to tonight? Um, usually when I'm playing music on my streams, I literally just go to YouTube and search royalty-free playlists or royalty-free music. Um, and I'll try to find whichever playlist has, like, the longest video, just because I know that I'm not going to run out of music during the time that I'm streaming. And that sort of helps prevent any issues with copyright. Um, occasionally, there are songs that do have copyright that are mixed into those. Um, and then Twitch will automatically mute those portions of the video. But aside from that, I don't really run into any issues. That's why a lot of the times, like, on my stream, you won't really hear anything that's, like, popular playing. Just because, I don't know, it, it helps prevent myself from running into issues. What kind of ice cream do you have, Julius? And yeah, I get that sniper. Um, I know like a handful of Spanish words, but nothing that's like useful. If that makes sense. Oh, I was asking what kind of ice cream you had.
hope you're enjoying it. I don't know, cookies and cream isn't really a flavor that I like. So... I don't know. When it comes to mint chocolate chip ice cream, I would say that I'm okay with it. I just don't really care for the bits of chocolate. Um, because I don't really like chocolate, but it's worth overlooking for the mint flavored ice cream. But it's also not really something that I get often, just because, I, like I said, I'm not really a fan of the chocolate, so there are other options that I could get that don't really have that. I would say my favorite flavor of ice cream is probably like, I'm trying to think what it's called. I had one one time that was uh, labeled as Play-Doh um, and it had like bits of cookie dough in it, but it didn't have chocolate. So that was good because usually like, usually the cookie dough ice cream has chocolate chips in it. So it was cool being able to come across that other one. Um, but I'm not sure what the other ice cream was, because it might have been like, um, I'm not sure, because I think it might have been like the Superman flavor with all the different colors, but the colors were more like the primary, like red, blue, and yellow. I don't know. That one was pretty cool. Um, but as far as like, common ice cream flavors um i would say i actually probably prefer sherbets so like orange sherbet raspberry sherbet rainbow sherbet is okay sometimes but i'm not really a fan if it has lemon or lime in the mix Yeah, that's frustrating, Sniper. Yeah, sometimes I'm glad I don't have any children or anything. Um... Because, like, next to my desk I have, like, my whole snack drawer where I have all my snacks. And I would be pretty upset if somebody just came and took those. Yeah, I get that. Uh, 
sometimes you have to because like otherwise people will see something and be like oh that sounds good and then they'll just eat it and it's like you know you could have asked like i would have shared if you asked but now i'm upset because you just took it <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. It also sort of helps to keep track of what they're eating too, I guess. Because like, children in some aspects will eat like just about anything. Like, I don't know, when it comes to snacks and just food in general, children are kind of like piranhas, where they kind of just like eat everything, and then it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Timmy. Yeah, I can respect that, because, like, even though, like, even natural sugar isn't really great for people, um, assuming you mean, like, cane sugar, like, it's better than the artificial sweeteners, generally speaking. Yeah, the thing that sucks about healthy snacks is that most of them take more time to prepare. I mean, they can, it depends. Because, like, just an example, I really enjoy fruit, but, like, usually it takes longer to, like, get that prepared to eat it. So it's like, you know, do I really want to do that? Because, like, I, I like the flavors and that's worth it, but, like... I don't know. Sometimes it's just not worth the time. Hey, welcome to chat. Uh, I'm not sure what you prefer to be called. Um, so I guess we'll just call you username for now. Oh my gosh, Sniper, that's ridiculous. Like, that's horrible that that happened and that's completely unfair to you. say a root beer float sounds good right now with oh my gosh dark thank you and welcome to chat you're awesome
am I? How are you? Um, bits are sort of like, um, a currency that's used on Twitch, so sometimes people will use those to cheer in a stream. Um, basically each bit is essentially one cent that goes to that streamer. Yeah, even though you're halfway across the country, I think you might have gotten me sick, so I'm gonna blame you. That's just a joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better. That's always good news. And like, in my case, I don't really feel awful, like it's mostly just sinuses and like a sore throat so it's probably just all the temperature changes with the weather recently but i've just been kind of tired for the most part breathing would be nice but i've learned it's optional <laughs> it is but i don't really deal with allergies too much um so it's probably a cold Oh, that's easy, Dark. My whole life is a joke, so, you know. Well, that sucks, Timmy. I imagine there's all sorts of pollen and stuff there with it being a warmer area. <laughs> oh my gosh. He knows I'm joking though. <laughs> So, do you guys have any other questions tonight for Q&A? Yeah, I get that, Timmy. Um, I actually live in Ohio, so... Technically on the border between... Canada and the US. Uh, we just have Lake Erie in the way. <laughs> yeah. It's good that you have a sense of humor, Dark. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of cold weather personally, but, like, it has its time and place, I suppose. Because, like, I like looking at snow, but I don't like being in it, or driving on it. But I can if I have to. Uh, are you talking about this emote? 
Well, I guess I have two of them. And I don't know, I guess it's kind of just a preference. Um, because the blue flames are the hottest. Um, it also contrasts well with Kurisu's orange fur. I appreciate it, Lion. Um, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, the Sniper of the Mountains are pretty cool. Um... I won't go too far into specifics, but I lived in the mountains at one point, um, and I would probably move back if I had the chance, but, like, well, I guess technically not, like, in the mountains, but, like, I was surrounded by mountains, and it was nice. Um, they're just really nice to look at. And yeah, to me, driving on snow is definitely a pain. One moment, I will link the picture that Dark is talking about for anyone who's curious. I'm just gonna find it real fast. Oh my gosh, dark. Driving on the snow sucks. And it's not necessarily because I feel uncomfortable driving on the snow as much as I don't trust other people driving on the snow. Because there are a lot of people who don't know what they're doing and it makes it really unsafe for everybody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> appreciate that dark and also thanks again for more bits you're awesome and also here is that drawing that dark mentioned earlier um just make sure that link worked yep oh my gosh thank you dark Um, so do you guys have any questions? Like I mentioned before, I'm happy to answer just about anything within reason. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, you can't escape it, Lion. I'm sorry. Thank you, Dirk. Hey, welcome to chat, David. How are you? And congratulations for beating the game. That's awesome. Dark, you're doing it to yourself. Thank you, Timmy. I appreciate that. And that's what they all say, Dark. So, do you guys have any other questions? Yeah, I can imagine that makes things a little bit more difficult. <laughs> no, you, Julius. Thanks for subscribing, Dark. You're awesome. Yeah, I don't blame you, Timmy. We talk about food on my streams a lot because I really enjoy food a lot. Which is kind of surprising because I'm actually really picky when it comes to eating certain things, but food is like my favorite thing, generally speaking. Oh my gosh, Sniper, you're ridiculous. Yeah, I don't blame you, Dark. Um, commercials can be pretty annoying sometimes. And to answer your question, Timmy, I do enjoy cooking, um, but I don't enjoy cleaning up afterwards, so I don't cook a whole lot, um, just because I'm a child and I don't like to clean up after myself, I guess. Uh, we were talking about ice cream earlier, so I'm really in the mood for root beer floats, um, but I don't know, like, tater tots sound good right now. Would be good, um, maybe some tea. Probably not all together, but, you know, any one or two of those things would be great. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dark. You know, it's kind of funny, because I don't really do microwave foods a whole lot either just because like i don't know the microwave makes things taste funny and i don't like it uh i'm not 
really a fan of vegetables personally. Like, there are a handful of things that I'll eat, but most of them aren't technically vegetables. Like, I like potatoes and corn. Um, carrots on occasion, sometimes celery. Um, I'll eat lettuce and salads, but mostly just if it's like a chicken salad, because, like, not chicken salad like the sandwich because that's gross but like like a grilled chicken salad um because the lettuce kind of absorbs that flavor a little bit um so then it doesn't taste as much like a vegetable i guess i guess technically it's a leaf i don't know um but yeah i'm not really a fan of vegetables generally speaking Yeah, I don't really want tater tots and ice cream together. Like, I would eat them at the same time, but not, like, mixing them together, if that makes sense. Because, like, there are some people who, like, dip french fries in, like, milkshakes, and I think that's gross. Like, I don't think I could do that. That doesn't sound appealing at all. But, like, I'll eat things together in, like, any sort of combination, really, as long as I can, like consume the flavors separately, if that makes sense. Broccoli mac and cheese does not sound good, but that kind of goes back to not really caring for vegetables. I haven't sniper, but um, I'm kind of neutral towards fish because, like, it's not necessarily my favorite, but I do enjoy salmon. No dark, I don't like coconut. Um, I don't like shredded coconut, I don't like coconut flavor. I don't like anything coconut. <laughs> like, really the only thing that I can do with coconut is like coconut oil, which I'll sometimes use for cooking, but that's about it. Um, it kind of just depends. And like, the smell of coconut isn't horrible, but like, just in small amounts. Yeah, Julius, I don't like cheese either. You know, Timmy, I don't know if that statement is true or not. Like, there are some things that I would literally probably starve instead of eating, and that sounds horrible, but like, there are some things that I, I cannot eat because they're disgusting. <laughs> I do like things that are sour, um, like, I'll eat lemon slices on occasion, like, I don't typically buy lemons specifically to eat them, but, like, if I'm at a restaurant and they have lemons for, like, whatever reason, I'll usually just eat those, um, but I do also enjoy like sour candy. It's hard to find good sour candy nowadays that's actually sour. Um, like, I'm really disappointed because like, just as an example, the sour gummy worms that I can get now aren't sour at all. Like they're literally just sweet and it's kind of disappointing. Um, I would say one of my favorite dishes that I've made is probably quiche, um, but I make it a little bit different, like, because instead of, 
the cheddar that most um most recipes call for i end up using mozzarella instead because it's a more mild flavor um so like one of my favorite recipes that i make is like a ham and i guess ham and mozzarella quiche um because it ends up being kind of like i don't know it's nice um I don't really have anything else to compare it to, unfortunately, because quiche is kind of its own thing. But with the eggs in it, it's it's kind of breakfasty, I guess, even though it's more of like a dinner thing. So that makes it nice. <laughs> no, sniper, I don't like coconut at all. And yeah, Dark, I do like macaroni and cheese, but only the craft macaroni and cheese. Um, but I don't know. I'm not really a fan of cheese, so it makes no sense. Um, yeah, it's hard to find sour candy nowadays that makes your mouth hurt. know if I would consider pickles sour or not, but I don't really eat them a whole lot because I don't like them. Maybe? I'd say they're more like... I don't know. I'd say they're probably more tart than sour. Um, and to answer your question, Timmy, quiche is kind of like... I don't want to say it's like a casserole because it's really not, but I don't know. I would kind of compare it to like, like if you were making a pie with omelet filling, sort of, like, because it has a lot of eggs in it. Um, yeah, like, like Dark said, it's really difficult to describe. But it typically has, like, a pie crust, and um, typically the base is made out of, like, eggs and either half and half or heavy whipping cream, whichever somebody decides to use for the recipe. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it is kind of like a breakfast pie, just not, because it has, like, well, I guess it depends on how somebody makes it, but, like, I'll usually put more, like, seasonings and spices in it, so it's not as breakfasty, but it it's kind of like a breakfast pie, I guess. Um, and yes, I do have collectibles, um... <laughs> Unfortunately, we have more collectibles than we have space for, so that sucks. Um, like, Zenmi has a huge collection of, like, different things from the games that he plays, and then I have some anime figurines, I collect Pokemon cards, um, which, clarification on that, I collect them to complete sets. I don't play the game, um, though I vaguely know how to play. It's just not something that I do. Um, let's see.
<laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I would say it's an addiction. Um, I, I do also collect foxes, believe it or not. Like, plush animals and other stuff. Um, I would say my favorite anime genre is probably sci-fi, um, like sci-fi, fantasy, um, there is a genre that they consider kind of like supernatural, which would fit really a lot of the popular series, like, um, like basically anything that would involve anything that's, I don't know. So, like, anything that involves sort of, like, vaguely spiritualism, I guess, like, um, would be considered supernatural. So, like, Death Note could fit that category, Bleach, um, let's see, technically speaking, Jujutsu Kaisen could fit that, so it kind of just depends. Um, yes, I have seen Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, thanks for following, Dark Moon Furry. You're awesome. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I have seen Full Metal Alchemist as well as Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, both series, in my opinion, have reasons that I would consider watching them, but supposedly Brotherhood follows the manga more closely. I don't know, because I haven't read it. Um, but the story does seem a little bit more coherent overall, so that's awesome. Hey, welcome to chat, Dark Moon. How are you? Um, I'm not sure what you're asking, Timmy. Like, as the genre, I've watched, um, a few Supernatural anime series, but as far as, like, an anime titled Supernatural, no. I haven't. Oh, you're fine. Um, as long as I can understand what you're saying, Dark Moon, you don't have to worry about anything. I would say some of my favorite movies are probably Atlantis The Lost Empire, um, Lilo and Stitch, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of the ones that I used to watch like all the time like on repeat, um, I really enjoyed Shrek, like, I don't know. Um, mostly animated series, or not series, uh, animated movies are ones that I tend to prefer just because they're more interesting. 
because um, you can do a lot more with animation than you can with like either you know conventional uh, filming methods or CG. No, I haven't seen it, Timmy. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know, I can respect that because, like... Cartoons were just so much more interesting than most of the other TV shows around. Because, like, almost all of the adults that I interact with will watch, like, either quote-unquote reality TV or, like, sitcoms and things like that. And those just aren't interesting. Because, like, it's all just, you know, everyday boring stuff that happens to people all the time. And it's like, you know... That's cool, and I guess, like, maybe people like it because it's more relatable, but it's just not as interesting. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started on sports. Like, they just go from one end to the other, and usually they're carrying a ball of some sort, or throwing a ball of some sort, or kicking a ball of some sort. Um, yeah, like, I don't understand the hype around sports. You know, I actually have not watched Tokyo Ghoul. Um, it's one that I need to watch because a lot of people have mentioned it. I've just never really gotten around to it. I mean, the only exception to going from one end to the other when it comes to sports is, like, if it's some sort of track and field thing. Because then they're going around in circles. And that's even less productive. I mean, really. Um, and I guess the same goes for, like, most racing, too. Like, NASCAR. Like... Because a lot of people, for some reason, include that in sports, even though it doesn't really involve any physical activity. I don't know. But yeah, that's enough of that, because I know if I keep going, I'm going to upset people. <laughs> and yeah, I have not watched Tokyo Ghoul, but I need to. So, I'm not really a fan of horror movies because most of them are not interesting. Like, if there was a good story behind it, like it was interesting and there's like stuff going on that isn't just cheap jump scares, maybe. But as a general statement, no, I'm not a fan. Um... So, to answer your question, David, I use the Yeti microphone by Blue. Um, and then I have an add on on my computer called NVIDIA Broadcast that sort of helps block out the background noises. Um, so, that's what I use for my microphone. Yeah, and the other thing with horror movies, like, there are some that I've watched that when I watched them, I wasn't aware that they were supposed to be horror movies. So, that's always interesting, too. Because, like, I would say one that I would say 
is good that I enjoyed was Cloverfield. Granted, I don't know if that's technically considered horror or not. Like, it would make sense, but, like, I just really enjoyed at that time, like, the way it was filmed. Because during that time frame, it was really unique to have the characters in the film sort of, like, filming the events first person. Um, because that wasn't really something that was common. And, like, really even now that's not super common as far as the format. But I think that just sort of added to the sort of feel that the movie had. Yeah, I agree with Dark. NASCAR isn't really my thing. I've not watched um, Blair Witch Project. I have heard about it, but like, I, I've i just known of the title. I don't know anything about the story or anything like that. Yeah. Um, David, people do tend to prefer more talking in streams. But yeah, that's annoying when your mic isn't picking up on you talking. Like, it's fun when technology just doesn't do what it's supposed to. <laughs> I might look into it. I mean, a lot of it is just kind of trial and error. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dark, you're ridiculous. Oh my gosh, you guys are ridiculous. Yeah, sorry, Dark. You tried. It's funny because I actually had a harder time reading your text in the different font than I did upside down. Oh my gosh, Dark. <laughs> that is ironic. Yeah. 
and to clarify a lot of it's just because i'm not wearing contacts right now so like I i'm a little bit blind but you know i can still read everything yeah you'd be surprised i i actually don't have very good eyes like they're okay but i'm nearsighted so anything that's like like when it comes to text anything that's like outside of like my arm's length uh i have a little bit of trouble well depending on how big the text is because if it's like really big text i can read it like a sign on the side of like a building or something as long as i'm not too far away but yeah Oh my gosh. Yeah, it could be worse. Like, I think I would rather be nearsighted than farsighted. Um, because I think that would cause more issues with, like, trying to draw if I didn't have any corrective lenses than if I could see farther away. Because, like, I don't know, if I couldn't see up close, that would ruin my life. You know, I have mixed feelings about that text dark because, like, it's like it's trying to be something it isn't, and like I can read it, but it's funny because I was trying to sound it out, like, using the other alphabet until I realized that it was the Japanese symbols as like English text. <laughs> oh my gosh, dark. Um, to answer your question, um, this is the playlist I'm currently playing, Timmy. Like I said, I literally just find a playlist on YouTube that is royalty-free, without copyright, and I kind of just play whatever's there.
Oh my gosh, Dark, you're ridiculous. But yeah, it is important for people to understand the stuff that's being said. It makes life a lot easier. I would say the hardest life lesson I've learned is that people suck. Like, I don't mean that like as a negative thing towards like everybody, but as a general statement, most people are pretty selfish and they only care about themselves. And growing up, it took me a long time to realize that, I guess. Because like, I'm naturally inclined to sort of try to help people if they're struggling, but like you also have to learn that people take advantage of you if you're like that. So I would say it's important to set boundaries. Like that's that's probably probably the hardest life lesson I've learned, but it was worth it. That sucks, Sniper. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think boxes are pretty great, but I might be a little bit biased. Thank you, Dark. Um, I would say my favorite outdoor activities. Like... It's hard to explain. Like, I've always enjoyed climbing in trees. I don't know why. I can't explain it. It's just something I've always enjoyed. Um, so I guess, like, that could be classified maybe as hiking, even though it's really not. Um, I also really enjoy stargazing. That's probably my favorite. Just because, like... It's cool to look up at the sky and just think about, like, just how much there is beyond here and, like, just how insignificant things are, like, in the grand scheme of things. And, like, I don't mean that as a bad thing, but, like, it sort of makes things easier to cope with sometimes, like... Like, if you're having a bad day and you're looking up at the stars, you're kind of just like, you know, this problem that I'm dealing with isn't really that big of a deal. Yeah, I get that, Timmy. I like dragons a lot also. They're pretty cool. Um, but I think foxes are just more relatable, so that's kind of why I went with the fox. I agree. Like, the moon is nice. Are you talking about, um, 
Like, I think there's, it might be different, but I know that there's a shrine in Japan. Like, I think it might be in Hokkaido, um, where they have a bunch of foxes. But I don't know if that's the same island or not. But that, that might be the one. I'd have to look into it. I mean, I think space is just interesting. Like... You know, I just, I want to know everything, and it's hard being stuck here and not being able to know what all is out there, or if there's anything even. So, I would say that I probably don't really believe in aliens, like, in a conventional standpoint. But I think it would be arrogant to think that humans are, like, the only developed civilization in the universe. Because the universe is pretty big. But, um, I don't know, that's probably my input on that. Oh, I might have to look into that then. It's a lot easier to go to Washington than Japan. I mean... Even if you were on, like, the tallest point on Earth, thankfully that's not possible. But I can understand at the same time, because, like, there's not really a whole lot to stop you from, like, just floating off in space. Because when you're in the vacuum, it kind of just, like, I don't know, there's not really any, like, air resistance or anything like that, so if you're moving in a direction, you're kind of just moving in that direction now. Um... I would say when it comes to spiritual beliefs, um... I don't necessarily believe in any sort of gods or deities, per se. Um... But I look at more of, like, the universe as a whole, if that makes sense. Because everything is sort of connected through, like, all the different cycles and, like, the different physics and everything. Like, everything affects everything else, I guess. And that's... I don't know. Like... There's a lot, <laughs> but um, I would say everything is just kind of connected, and like that's why it's important, like whether you really believe in anything or not. That it's nice to just sort of treat everybody how you want to be treated, because at the end of the day, like I don't know, like I don't necessarily believe in karma, like the way that it's portrayed, if that makes sense. But I will say that kind of like with sort of science, like for every action there's a reaction. So like everything that happens like has impacts even if you don't see those impacts, if that makes sense, on like other things. Yeah, I'll have to look into that, Timmy. Yeah, 
that means a lot, Dark, because I was totally just rambling, so I'm glad it made sense to somebody. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that sucks, Sniper. I hope it didn't hurt too much.
That sounds interesting to me. I'm not sure I'm familiar with that, um, that genre. Yeah, I've heard of Panic at the Disco. They're alright, but they're not really my favorite. Like, I can't... Can't really name off any of their songs, but some of them are kind of catchy, I guess. Oh my gosh, Timmy. I don't know if the world is ready for that. I mean, it's hard to go more than like more depressing than regular country because it's already pretty sad to begin with. Like, I don't know, because everything is all like, oh no, my girlfriend broke up with me, or oh no, my dog died or ran away or whatever, or like my truck broke down, and it's like, I get it, those things are relatable but you can't have every song based around that but they do like i mean i guess not every song um because there are a bunch of songs also about like drinking but i don't know country just isn't my thing I mean, as long as it's not, like, offensive, you can share whatever. Yeah, so, random fun fact, um, I got some Sour Skittles because I hadn't seen them in stores in, like, years, and I'm really disappointed because they're not sour at all. They just have, like, the sugar coating on the outside. I was hoping maybe, but... Um, super, I would say that either or, um, is kind of has the same outcome, but I would probably say a person that could transform into a fox, theoretically speaking, just because I think that humans probably have a little bit higher of an intelligence than the average fox. I don't think I've heard that one, Timmy. I 
I don't know about that, but I appreciate it. No, I haven't heard that yet. I'm not really a fan of Imagine Dragons. Um, Cause like, I don't know. I don't really care for their style, but they're okay. cool yeah um sniper that is actually because technically speaking potassium is slightly radioactive but just slightly Um, yeah, I do like spiders. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I really like wolf spiders. Um, and like, I like the little jumping spiders because their eyes will actually like, like you can see them following you with their eyes and that's really cute. Um, but I also really like tarantulas because they're just fuzzy. Uh, welcome to chat, Ruby. How are you? I'm doing all right. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather tonight, but I think I'll probably be better by tomorrow, hopefully. Do you have any questions for, oh, let's see. Um, so I have not had any pet snakes or spiders, but I have had other reptiles of the lizard variety. Um, I won't really go into detail on that right now, um, but yeah, I enjoy reptiles a lot just because, like, they're really cool. Like, I don't know. Like, I've always wanted chameleons, but they're really hard to take care of, so I've never had them. 
but maybe eventually. Yeah, chameleons are really hard to take care of because they're like super fragile as far as like their environment. Like if their environment isn't perfect, they usually don't make it very long, unfortunately. But yeah, um, do you guys have any other questions for Q&A? <laughs> You're fine, Timmy. Does anyone else have any questions? I'm happy to answer anything within reason. You're fine, Sniper. Um, no, I don't play Overwatch because I'm not really a fan of MOBAs, but I love their character designs. Like, I really like, um, the design for Tracer, um, I think of the others, because there was another one that I liked, but I can't remember what their name was. Hey, welcome to chat. How are you, typical furry? Yeah, um, Ash is pretty cool too. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not sure. <laughs> Cool. What kind of dog do you have? That's awesome. I have several pets, actually. Um, we have a husky, um, four cats, and a few lizards. Yeah, it's really awesome. I appreciate that you guys are here. Hey, welcome to chat, Star Summoner. How are you? And also, um... <laughs> um surprisingly, no. Um, but it might be eventually, because, um... At some point, I also want to get some larger birds, um, 
Hey, thanks for following Typical Furry. You're awesome. Um, but it's just not in the cards right now. Like, we'll probably end up having to, like, I don't know. Like, with work and everything, I don't have time for it. But we'll also probably have to have a bigger house for all the pets that I want to eventually have. So that's a bit of a challenge. That's awesome, Star Summoner. So do you guys have any other questions for Q&A tonight? That's awesome. Uh, what kind of business are you thinking about making? Sounds like fun. Um, are you thinking about like drawing them uh, traditionally or digitally? Or like, like what kind of badges do you have in mind, Star Summoner? And to answer your question, Sniper Fox, um, I would say my favorite fruit is probably strawberries. Um, but I also like kiwis, um, let's see, oranges, raspberries, um, Pomegranate is okay on occasion, um, because it's actually kind of similar to raspberry a little bit in the sense that both of them are kind of tart. Um, let's see. Um, it would probably be easier to list the fruit that I don't like. Um, because, like, I'm not a fan of bananas, cantaloupe, um... Or pineapple. Those are probably the three main fruits that I don't like. Um, but aside from that, pretty much everything else that I've tried, I've always liked. Um, I would say my top three video games are probably... I would say probably... Pokemon, um, just in general, um, Portal 2, and probably a toss-up between Spyro the Dragon and Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, and I don't actually have a favorite Godzilla movie, unfortunately, but all the ones I've seen have been pretty great, like, just a lot of action going on. Mangoes are okay. Um, I wouldn't say that they're my favorite, but um, they're not bad. Uh, that's a tricky one because I don't usually listen to music like by albums. Um, because, like, nowadays, I kind of just use Spotify and things like that, so it kind of just plays, like, single songs from a playlist. Um, that's a tricky one. But we talked a little bit about that earlier, um, and I would say probably, like, it'd be easier to probably share my favorite artists, um, which would be, like, Linkin Park, Mindless Self-Indulgence, Apocalyptica, um, just to name a few. And I would say fan art can be cool. Um, it's just a little bit tricky with copyright laws, because technically speaking, like, you're allowed to make fan art. But you can potentially get in, like, a lot of trouble if you're selling fan art. Um, just because, technically speaking, the characters don't belong to you. Um, unless you are getting permission from, like, the original creator to make that artwork and sell it. Like, I would recommend against that. Unless you're planning on just making fan art in general. Um, then there's not really a problem. Uh, 
I don't think I've seen that one, Sniper. You know, I have a hard time listening to the Beatles. Like, I don't know, there's just... I don't know. Like, it's hard for me to get into them. But Radiohead is okay. Yeah, to me, it gets kind of tricky sometimes with copyright laws, um, especially with, like, bigger companies. So, like, um, if you were to make fan art of a character and, like, sell that as prints or something, and you started making, like, a noticeable amount of money on that, the company who originally created that character, or the artist who originally created that character, um, could potentially be like, well, you know, that's my character, so, you know, they could potentially sue you and, like, take all of that money that you earn from that. So that's why I usually recommend against fan art, um, just because of all the drama that can be involved with it. Um, let's see, has been a hotel or hell of a boss characters? Um, As far as character design, um, I would say my favorite is probably Stolas. Stolas? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but, like, personality wise, probably Alistair. Yeah, I'm glad that you get that, um, typical furry. Because there are some people who get, like, really bent out of shape when you're like, yeah, I don't like that artist. And it's like, you know, everybody's allowed to like or dislike whatever they want. Like, it just blows my, like, blows my mind when people try to force their favorite things on other people. Like, it just doesn't seem fair. Yeah, technically speaking, Timmy, if somebody commissioned something like that, then the artist could get in trouble for it. That said, like, if somebody asked for, like, their own character to be drawn in the style of, like, another artist's work, um, so, like, if they wanted something to be drawn in the style of Has Been Hotel, you could totally do that. Um, it would just be kind of iffy, like, if you wanted to draw, like, you know, like, a commission with, like, Luna or, um, any of those other characters, just because if, um, Viv Z Pop decided she wanted to, like, sue over that, she would totally be within the right to do that, because technically speaking, they're her characters. Ah. Uh... I would say it really depends on, like, which threads you're in, as far as things being worse between Reddit or 4chan. I would say, I don't know, because I have more experience on Reddit, but I'm not really active on either. But I've probably heard of there being more problems on 4chan, but that's not to say that Either one is really better or worse. Uh, I don't think you missed anything, Timmy. Um, I would say I probably prefer big tails over short tails. Um, but like, there is a point when it's too much, if that makes sense. Like, there's a limit to how big a tail should be. <laughs> 
Yeah, like I'd say that's fine. Um, I would say the problem starts to happen when like the tail is like bigger than the character, if that makes sense, because that's just kind of ridiculous. Um, I would say like the only real exception I can make to something like that is like if you have sort of like a um, like a kitsune spirit where it's like the like a nine-tailed fox basically like if you have something like that it makes more sense because nine tails are gonna take up a lot of space but like if one tail took up all of that space that would be too much <laughs> Um, I don't think I'm familiar with that one, Timmy. I'm glad you like them, Star Summoner. Um, I do. Um, one moment and I can link a few pictures real quick. Let's switch over to Facebook. There's one picture. Alright, so there are a few pictures. <laughs> oh my gosh, Star Summoner. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit under the weather right now. Um, feeling a little bit better than I was yesterday, so I decided to stream tonight. But I probably won't stick around too much longer because um, I'm probably going to go back to bed afterwards. <laughs> But, 
Yeah, I hope so too. Um, do you guys have any other questions? Probably answer one or two more before I head off. Um, I did not. Um, give me one moment and I can actually link the maker who made mine. So this is the website of the person I commissioned to make my suit which is actually just a partial so like i only have a head and tail um just because as far as kurisu's design it doesn't make sense to have a full suit um so that's kind of why i went with that option instead uh it's always hard to think and decide which pokemon is my favorite um I would say a few of my favorites, though, are probably Mew, Deoxys, um, I've always liked Rayquaza, um, I like Mega Charizard X, um, let's see, those are a few, um, It sucks, because most of the time, my favorites are, like, the legendaries, just because they tend to have better designs. Um... I don't know. Fennekin is also pretty cool. Yeah. Mewtwo is one that I've always liked, um, but it also has, like, a really sad backstory. Um, for anyone who's, like, familiar with the series and everything that's going on there. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, that's rough. I'm sorry that you can relate to him. Um, but yeah, I think I'm probably gonna head off now. Um, but I'm probably- Hey, welcome to chat, Sulky. Um, but I'm probably going to raid another channel, so I'll ask you guys. Um, would you rather watch, uh, let's see. You want to watch Call of Duty, Apex Legends, or Elden Ring? Thanks, Timmy. I hope so, too. Elden Ring? Alright. Um, so that's one vote for Elden Ring. Alright, so we'll go ahead and raid the channel with Elden Ring. Um, so we're going to be raiding Max XPR01's channel. Um, I really appreciate everyone for stopping by. Um, I'll try to be back same time tomorrow around 10pm Eastern Time. 
Um, if I'm feeling better, we'll probably either do some more Cuphead or art. Um, we can decide then. But I really appreciate all of you who decided to stop by. Have a good night.